13 Ghosts Haunt Your TV, Creepypasta Russian Sleep Experiment, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Deathmatch Championship, all on this Wednesday edition of Spill the Guts. I like it spooky. My name is Clint, and I am one half of one of the fastest growing horror podcasts around. The ever evolving I Like It Spooky Horror Podcast brings you a feature show every other week, Crackle and Redbox streaming app rundowns twice a month, and news right here on Spill the Guts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today is Wednesday, August 16th, and this just in. <laughs> There are ghosts around us all the time. Most of them, they can't hurt us. Most of them don't even want to hurt us. But there are exceptions. First up, Dread Central reports that a 13 Ghosts television series just might be on its way. Patrick Mediate from Primordial Pictures and Fear the Walking Dead special effects supervisor Aaron McLean have shared an exclusive update with Dread Central announcing their partnership with Dark Castle Entertainment to develop and pitch a 13 Ghosts television series to Sony Pictures Television. Last seen in Steve Beck's and Dark Castle's own 2001 remake, this would mark the first project for the property in two decades and the first time it was serialized for television. While nothing has been greenlit yet, we're still psyched at the idea of this new series. The proposed structure for the series is pitched as a 13-episode run with an ensemble cast where each episode explores the origins of a different ghost. The creators note, quote, Every culture in the world has its ghost stories, and this reimagining of 13 ghosts presents an international sampling of these supernatural tales. The ghost stories within each episode will have their own stylistic look and feel that will be explored and influenced by each individual director. This makes our ghost vignettes stand out stylistically as they set the theme for each episode. If this story wasn't enough to get you excited about something I know that a lot of us have been wanting to see for years now, I will post a link to a video clip including the backstory of each ghost featured in the 2001 remake, as well as a link to the Dread Central article that includes concept art of this proposed project on the I Like a Spooky Horror Podcast Facebook page. The only other thing I have to say is, give me the damn glasses already. Second story of the day comes from BloodyDisgusting.com, who reports that the creepy pasta horror movie Soviet Sleep Experiment is finally coming soon. Originally announced way back in 2018, director Barry Anderson is turning the viral creepy pasta tale of the Russian sleep experiment into a horror movie, but it's been radio silence on the project since that original report. Now, Screen Daily reports that the Los Angeles-based production and distribution company Buffalo 8 has acquired worldwide rights to the film, which is titled Soviet Sleep Experiment. Soviet Sleep Experiment, based on the creepypasta urban legend, tells the story of Russian researchers who keep four patients awake using an experimental stimulant. When the experiment spirals out of control, the subjects take matters into their own hands. The original creepypasta tale had claimed that Soviet researchers had used an experimental stimulant back in the 1940s to keep five people awake for 15 consecutive days. I will include a link to this bloody disgusting article on the I Like It Spooky Horror Podcast Facebook page, as well as a link to the original creepypasta story narration of the Russian sleep experiment. Brian Hoover, this one is for you. The moment they could speak, they were asking for the gas. The researchers tried asking why. Why had they injured themselves? Why had they ripped out their own organs? Why did they want the gas? Only one response was given. I must remain awake. 
If you're planning on staying awake, I suggest you check out any of the many podcasts on our podcast network, the PFPN. You're listening to the Prescribed Films Podcast Network, home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment. The shows on this network all have a common goal, providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media. The PFPN hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy. Visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com. Thanks for listening. Wrapping up today's news is another one from Bloody Disgusting. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game will be launching this Friday on PlayStation, Xbox, and on PC via Steam and the Microsoft Store. The events take place before Toby Hooper's original classic. Kane Hodder is playing Leatherface, and Ed Neal, who played the hitchhiker in Toby Hooper's original horror classic, will be reprising the role in the upcoming game. The story synopsis reads, A group of five young adults led by Ana Flores set out to search for her missing sister. What they found was terror beyond their wildest nightmares. An official partnership with the upcoming multiplayer slasher game from Gun Interactive and the AEW Pro Wrestling promotion culminates in the ring as AEW is hosting the first ever Texas Chainsaw Massacre Deathmatch Championship on their popular weekly show AEW Dynamite tonight, August 16th at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, live on TBS. What exactly is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre Deathmatch Championship? Well, it sounds like a new spin on an Anything Goes Hardcore match and will showcase Jeff Jarrett squaring off against Jeff Hardy. In a recent promo, Jeff Jarrett even teased that Leatherface himself just might be in the house. So you better believe I'll be watching. For those who don't follow professional wrestling, AEW is a rival promotion to WWE, and with major financial backing, it's become the first legitimate competition for Vince McMahon's company in two decades. AEW holds weekly live television events and regular pay-per-view events, and the roster is filled out with fresh new stars as well as big names who used to work for WWE. As unique as tonight's Texas Chainsaw Massacre-themed match promises to be, it's actually not even the first horror movie-themed pro wrestling match we've seen this year. At WrestleMania 39 in April, WWE held a Hell in the Cell match between Edge and Finn Balor that was presented by the Pope's Exorcist, and it even kicked off with a Russell Crowe appearance. This also won't be the first time Leatherface appears in a pro wrestling ring, as former WWE superstar Corporal Kirchner adopted the Leatherface persona while he wrestled in Japan. And yes, he dressed in a full Leatherface costume, which he also wrestled in. Did I mention the chainsaw shooting sparks at the crowd? There he is! There he is walking through the crowd, cutting people in half! He's known to walk through the audience! Look at him just rushing people with that chainsaw! He's trying to cut their fucking faces off and shove them in their ass! I can't believe it! And that's a wrap on your Wednesday news. If you're new around here, we have some rules. One, connect with the I Like It Spooky Horror podcast on all mainstream social media platforms. Two, subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Two and a half for today only. Watch Leatherface wrestle on AEW tonight at 8 Eastern on TBS. And finally, three. Join me back here this coming Friday for more news on another edition of Spill the Guts. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Show some fucking respect for the dead, will ya?